What's happening, y'all? This is Danny Oakley here, and welcome back to the Let's Play of Call of Duty 2. In our last playthrough, we had just finished up with the D-Day portion of the American campaign. Had a pretty intense firefight, had a couple of bullshit moments, but I ended it off with a, with a pretty great sniping montage. <laughs> but um, other than that, though, we're going to get right back into the game with the next part of the American campaign, which is Hill 400 at Bergstein. December 7th, 1944. Allied forces cross the border between Belgium and Germany, encountering heavy resistance near the town of Bergstein. Towering over the small town is Hill 400, providing German artillery spotters with a perfect view of Allied forces for miles in all directions. Devastating artillery barrages directed from the summit inflict numerous losses upon the Allies. Now, the US 2nd Ranger Battalion prepares to capture the hill, and deny its use to the Germans. Alrighty. December 6, 1944, 1230 hours, Bergstein, Germany, heavy rain, 43 degrees Fahrenheit. We spent the past few weeks holding the line a few miles into Germany, sitting in foxholes, shivering in the freezing rain, and taking sporadic artillery fire day and night. Today, we get to do something about that. Our squad has been ordered to reach the far end of Bergstein and secure the town for tomorrow's assault on Hill 400. Anything's got to be better than sitting in a foxhole and hoping I don't get hit by an 88. Corporal Bill Taylor, 1st Company, 2nd Ranger Battalion. Let's get into it, y'all. Listen up. Battalion wants us freezing our asses off on top of that hill by the end of tomorrow. First, we got to kick Jerry out of this cute little town. On me! Alrighty. And this house is clear. Move on to the next one. Jesus, that I didn't even get to check upstairs. All right, if you say it's clear. I never understood that. I mean, you know, it's like you go up and it's like, oh yeah, the house is clear. Let's keep going. What's going to stop, you know, two, three or four German soldiers from just coming in right behind us and just sitting in this house? I mean, that's just me. I mean, like I understand the game game mechanic where it's like, oh, they're, it's free, you know. It's free. We don't have to worry about it. But in real life, it's like, it's free. It's like, it's free, but we're still going to have to keep at least one or two soldiers here to make sure that it stays, stays clear. But like I said, that's just me. This is something I've always noticed about war games. Right in your arm. Right in your head. Stick your head out. Stick your head. There you go. Whoa. Ooh. You just got ping pong. Because apparently once the MG is set up, it's just cemented there and cannot be moved again. Go ahead and throw a smoke over there so that... <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, go ahead and set through, throw smoke right there so that... Keep firing. Ow. 
because as soon as I move, that's when all of them will move with me. Oh God! Let's get people, get people up in here. Just a rifle. Good shot. He was about to just walk right up there and just snipe the shit out of your head. I'm glad I caught it. Uh, I guess there has to be an upstairs to this building. Or, mm, yep. No, it's clear. Just have to still check it, though. Oh my god, what the hell was that? Are you... Wh what? Jesus Christ! Just had a mortar fall on top of my head. Jesus Christ! Fuck. I can see not out here either. Oh God! Right next to us. Surely you don't mean the house with the giant, with the uh, swastika flag hanging off the side of it. Surely that's not the house you're thinking of. Got a radio in here. We can't go this way because there's barbed wire and hmm. It's just a just a cellar. Thought it was something else. Got some smoke grenade ammo, which is which can be very helpful. Alright. Jesus. Alright. Oh, Jesus. Good shot. Oh, man.
don't know if I got anybody or not, but better be safe than sorry. S no stairs? Alright. Or I'll just walk by them again, because, yep, I'm not used to the stairs that are just hugging the side of the wall like this. It's weird to me. Okay, this house is clear. Which, per video game logic, shall remain clear from now until the rest of time. Ow. Son of a bitch. <laughs> uh. the hell I gotta reload. What down? Hmm. Listen up. On my command, kick open the door and frag those crowds. Ready? No! trying to could have been me I've been trying to shoot through the wall to get them but that mechanic doesn't come into play not for a while at least okay. and Kobe didn't seem to do anything I see a glowy glow. It means something I can blow up. There we go. There's one half trap for them not to use. I always love the game mechanic. It always um, it always makes me laugh. Um, the game mechanic where you go in with marginally not many troops at all, and then when you finish the mission, it's like, all right, we're we're pretty good. And then as soon as as soon as everything's cleared and everything's good, that's when just jeeps and Sherman tanks and GI Joe just comes in. It's like, all right, it's time to secure the perimeter. <laughs> just. All these troops come in, and it just makes me wonder, like, 
why didn't you just throw all the troops in it's uh, whenever we first started but I said, you just it's just something about something with the vid, with video games you just can't argue it's like some logic just doesn't exist in video games so you just have to roll with it so other than that though it was a pretty great mission and I enjoyed it so with that being said thank y'all so much for coming out for watching this video I hope y'all enjoyed it if y'all did smash that like button let me know what you thought of the video and subscribe for more great content thank y'all so much for y'all's time we'll see y'all in the next round